Howdy mates. Good morning. I hope you guys can hear me just okay. Today is uh, Sunday, December 20th, 2020. So we're getting close to Christmas time now. So now I'm officially back in the state of Ohio. And, well, the return has been a little bittersweet. But I know that I have to finish my last semester at Wittenberg University. So for those of you who have followed my content for some time, I'm out visiting the Greenville Falls State Scenic River area. And essentially this area is where it will eventually form a confluence with that of the Stillwater River in the village of Covington, which actually isn't too far from here. Besides the fact of how you have the opportunity to see riparian habitat, and of course the falls made up of dolomite, there's also a bit of history here too. So like, okay, you see that structure in the distance? I believe that was a turbine back in the day. They used to have a power mill out here. And from what I understood, way back in the 1890s, so quite some time ago, the Albury brothers actually had a dam that was built just over here. Uh, you can actually see some of the remains, which I, w I can show you guys in a bit. But basically, this area was like the f one of the first hydroelectricity uh, suppliers in the state of Ohio. And it powered the town of Covington with electricity and Pleasant Hill, which isn't too far from here. And then eventually, as we got into the 1900s, it was eventually bought out by DPNL. And the, the hydroelectric dam was put down. So actually, right past those set of woods, that is where you'll actually see the, well, what you would call the substation, more or less. Yeah, she is a beauty. So yeah, I wanna show you guys the dam. Okay, so here is the remnants of the wooden dam that once crossed the Greenville Creek. And you can actually see there's actually a bit of moss growing on this wood. It's been here for quite some time. It's probably possible that they used an oak of some type, which is what allowed all of the... Well, oak is known to be a stronger wood when it comes to structure. But yeah, I just want to point out something to you guys as well. I don't know how well you guys might be able to see it, but across the creek, here was something known as a sluice gate. Uh, for those of you who aren't sure what a sluice gate refers to, it is basically where... Okay, so you figure the dam is right here. So any of the water that needed to be used for the uh, power mill that supplied electricity, essentially the water would rise up behind the dam and it would, you guys, it would pass through these sluice gates and they actually had like a dug up canal on this land which went through the mill and the turbines and then it eventually just ran out to the other side of the mill. And that, that's how it worked. And so in a way, it was to ensure that the water would return to the stream. But 
Yeah, quite a bit of history here, man. It's awesome. <laughs> and then you, you also have the opportunity to see some of the geologic wonders out here as well, which I'm sure within the past hundreds of years has hardly even changed that much at all. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So here's something that I want to announce to all of you who follow my page. There's something new that I want to start doing. I want to begin doing some mini tours with any individuals who may be interested. It, it would be completely free and you'd get the tour of a particular preserve coming from my perspective. Like, you know, including facts and little anecdotes too. It's just I want to I want to begin developing better interpersonal skills. You know, actually interacting with individuals. And, in, well, as I mentioned, leading many tours. Because that is an important skill for a naturalist as well. Is they also have to be able to lead tours and interact with different individuals. And, as I have stated, you know... If you ever do come on a tour with me, uh, you don't have to wear a facial mask. It's completely up to you. I'm not going to force you, but just to let you know, I personally will not wear one. Just because I'm out in nature and I want to breathe it in, take it in, so to speak. But yeah, I may post like an event or two, or you guys can notify me via messenger if you guys want to go somewhere with me so okay I thought I would share that with all of you hope you learned something in the video and you know try to invite your friends and family to like my page even my YouTube page as well so all right hope all of you enjoy your Sunday and journey on a journey is out take care folks